as ever. Ever onward. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. No more. feather fall anything like that into the garden you go down there grab one of the magic um or a plants take it in on the very bottom floor put it in the device it powers up the more for me i'll give it a shot Fly, feather from here on the cupboards, much and get out of the back of the house. Elf Towers, Shane Tower, Timar Sports. This is a quick overview in Baldur's Gate 3 on where to find the Tongue of Madness and the Timar Sports. This is for a quest from one of the Mind Flayer guys. Um, you find it in the Arcane Tower in the Underdark. Now, this place is quite rough when you first get here because there's a bunch of towers that shoot you and that kind of stuff. Um, we do have a guide up on the channel if you're struggling to get through the tower itself. But for this one, it's relatively simple. All you have to do is get to the bottom floor pretty much and get out of the back of the house. So you can find them here. This is on.
not well. The nutrition my species receives from other minds is difficult to emulate. Worry not, friend. You'll find the key soon in... I greet you, child of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omelion turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draught. I can make no promises as to its taste. It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. The potion is disgusting beyond description. The only mercy is that it goes down quickly. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find yourself acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. dance around Omelu, but you stay steady and staring ahead. The tadpole spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power, more power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Omeluum, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis. Yet that power may grow beyond your control. I have another intermediate solution, if you are in need. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? A fascinating topic indeed. What can you tell me?
What a brilliant experience. To feel one step closer to my ancestors is a fine gift indeed. Here, it is yours. May it serve you as well as it has served me. That thing better work. If it doesn't, I doubt you'll be in any position to complain. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. Have you spoken with Skris? I greet you, son child. Not well. The new... What? Hope you're keeping well, friend. May the darkness protect you. What are you thinking about? You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Now. I won't warn you again. Lazelle thinks I have something important to her people. She's deluded, clear. Lies. She carries an heirloom of my people. I must know why. The bad blood must be purged. A jewel, come first light. You mean I'd get to prove you wrong and thrash you? I love it. Get some rest, Lazelle. You'll need it. You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward. If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. She's 
a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up, and I'll show you. Can I do that, Lazel? Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes, instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. Very glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled things without letting any blood. I would have enjoyed the spectacle, but not losing either one of those lunatics. Ah, my good. F Quite the cozy setup you have. Oh, I really thought Shadowheart and Lazel might fight to the death over that artifact. A pity. It would have made for a fine night's entertainment. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? We aren't dear friends now, if that's what you're asking. But I trust we can all sleep a little more soundly in camp now. Well, apart from you, of course. You have an interesting definition of friendly, but yes. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had, after all, what I shared with you about my past, about being saved from the wolf. You must have questions. It is over where I am concerned. It is through conflict that we strengthen our bonds, yet I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. The next resolution may not end in her favor. You wish to speak? I hope that's the end of this silly quarrel. They'll have no energy for battling our enemies if Lazel and Shadowheart are too busy squabbling among themselves. I'll say one thing for our troop. We're not short on drama. I'm glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled their differences peacefully. Eventually. village if seeded properly. on the lake's murky waters.
Elf, what are you doing on Gek's raft? Where's Gek? Who are you? The sergeant will be pissed about her boots. Come on. Let's get you to shore. You're the one telling the sergeant what happened. The rest of you, keep patrolling. I'll be heading back with this one. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. you showed up we got trouble spit it out sergeant finally choked on true soul nears prick drug no the twat soul caused a rock fall trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger you're shitting me you pay up that's the trouble he's got the gold on him sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating Who's the hoon, Greyman? Another slave for the dig. Aye. One of those absolute crackpots. Found the hoon sailing Gek's skiff. That's so. I... <sighs> You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh, I'll be... You ain't shitting. Felt the tingle. Your twat old chum owes us a load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. I'll be shagged to Shanatar. <laughs> Shit's looking up. But I'm warning you, that twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. So we must save the drow first, then sever his head after. Oh, pleasantries like that make me quite homesick. What are you looking at? Move! What's a fort like this doing in the Underdark? Whoever built it, they've let it rot for ages. How peculiar. Smooth face, cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be. A sun dweller in these parts. Look here, my topside friend. I need fresh eyes, and I doubt I'll find fresher. The rock, 
the rubble, all of it, if I may be so bold. Take a look. Tell me what you see. And be thorough. The statue's meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it. Two styles, two eras. The statue was carved from newer stone and erected by latecomers to this ancient fortress. Anything standing out? Boulders and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor. Many split cleanly in two, yet some walls remain fully intact. No quake brought these rocks down. They were smashed through in an instant. Something big charged through here. Something very big. What do you think? Several glassy stones stand out in the debris. Their borders are coated with tiny yellow crystals. The hottest of flames smoothed the stone and left sulfuric crystals behind. The fires of the hells have touched Grimforge. Incredible. An entire history risen from dirt and debris. Picture it. An ancient city, hewn from the stone by disciples of Shah, later abandoned. Untold centuries later, a new tribe revives it. Fresh walls, fresh sculptures, until a great hell beast charges through, toppling the walls and crushing the people. Oh, that explains the infernal plate I found. Perhaps you might have use of it. But my work has only begun. There is more still to find. I must get to it. Well, let's see what you've got. That's all then. There is overhead and underfoot. You just need to know where to look. The most interesting secrets are always lurking. <laughs> Tired. Sleep. Rest, little one. But do not take long. I feel his shadow. I heard his name whispered. The rock shivers from the sound. The Ketheric Thorm. Ketheric Thorm, a familiar name. 
Halsen mentioned his stronghold deep underground. Mm. Mighty elf, cloaked in darkness. Ten masters ago, and ten more. But I remember there was the work and the blood. There was the Thorm's army. There was the Hell Beast that broke them. The Ketheric Thorm's name faded into stone until the Near came. I saw tusks and flesh, smelled fire and eggs. It came with the mask men, crashing and smashing. I know not, so I say not. Yet I hear his name again, said by the shadows. I outlived my mother, and her mother's mother, and many mothers beyond. Blessed to see many live, cursed to see many die. Afraid! Afraid of Thorm! Do not think on it further. Rest. I will see you safe. you realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. Dark Justicia uniforms? These were Shah worshippers. The same as me. Still, if whatever managed to murder a group of Sharans is still around, we had better watch our step.
I must keep going. No one back home will ever believe this. If not over, then through. You, grab a cane and whip these droogning beasts into shape. That rubble needs clearing, and my patience is hanging on by an arse whisker. And it sounds like your arse wants for a lashing, the way you talk out of it. Something spooks the dumb shits, so stop your join and get to working. Go on then. Light a fire under the buggers. I want to have a word. Brawn and then... No more. No more pain. No more work. All must die. Yes, they made the pain. Now they feel it. Bloody Ruth, they have lost it. Put them down, and the shark too. <laughs> What's up for discussion? You! That rubble needs clearing! And my p and it Something spooks the dumb shits! So stop your join and get to working! Go on then! Look at him. All that brawl! No more! No more pain! No more work! All must die! Yes! They made the pain. Bloody Ruth, they have lost it. Put them down, and the shark too.
Dwergar can't hurt anymore. We'll wait until it's safe to leave. You helped me. I help you. Something's off. Pure shadow. Around me. Inside me. Step carefully. There's a trap. Sharp as ever. I have a lot on my mind and, well, <sighs> moving ahead. Very well. Reinforcements, huh? Let's see how long you last. Master Rockfall is my guess. Scarge, you're still at it then. Okay, stop chaining those pieces, Master. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just a small one, but enough to blow the drow out. Someone should grab it. Slaves are never gonna manage with pickaxes. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeants are ticket in. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? Someone's having a listen. A shiver runs through you. 
Your mind is awash with ancient resentments. True soul, no less. What do you think, Kerr? Should we take Nia's debt off him? I ain't parlaying with more twat souls. And you got the stench. If I didn't know better, I'd say a mind flayer shat a worm in your brain. Should split your head open and poke around in there if you lot don't pay up. The shiver returns. This time it's colder, sharper. The stench don't lie. You're one of them. can still smell near from behind that damned wall. <laughs> he stinks to the deepest hells, that's for sure. Mm, could be you're right. In that case, want to earn some gold? Ain't my gold I'm offering. It's the true souls. Thrins after the absolute glory. That's why she's got those slaves digging for Nia. But we ain't need glory. Just coin. And Nia's got plenty. Help Thrin free Nia. Then you and my chums grind him up. Whatever the spoils, we'll drop you a fat cut. You in. Drugnin' shithead, like hell she should! One day I'll catch a break. Where the gnomes are. Three names found the trace. Seen a true soul, no less. What do you think, Kerr? I ain't. Should split your head open and poke around in there if you lot don't pay up. The shiver returned. The stench don't lie. You're one of them. Drugged in true souls. <laughs> in that case, want to earn some pain? But we ain't. Help Thrin free me. Whatever the spoils, we'll drop you a fat cut. You good. But first, we need to take care of something. You've seen that weird orb I floating about? Knife it. And don't get caught. The cult watches through it. And we can't risk more twat souls showing up. You still standing about? Get on it. Some days back, a slave gnome bolted with smoke powder. Handy stuff. Her crew know more than they're letting on. See if you can get them to talk. Now move. You're hogging my air. Just like the goblins had. No telling who's looking through it. Close the eye thing for good, then spring near. Time good. Drop it near the rubble when it's time. 
Flaming arrow or some such will set it off. I don't need any attention right now. At the ready. That's a friendly looking shadow. Can't risk being in open view. Very well. Stare into the eye. The longer you stare, the more uneasy you feel. There is a presence. You are seen. Seems like a good moment to talk. Absolutely not. The life you took will not go unavenged, it seems. <laughs> 